welcome to number four. Yes, I learned how to count. <laughs> All right, so this one I'm going to call hop cider. Uh, it's the last of the apple juice, so I've got six liters of apple juice in here. So I'm always talking about scaling my recipe. I've got one and a half cups of brown sugar. Now, in number three, I used eight liters and I had two cups. So, with the brown sugar, we're going to add an ounce of Cascade hops. These are some of the hops that I grew this year. So, uh, I've got my yeast starter already going. As I already told you in number three, because I'm filming three and four today, as you can tell by my attire. Anyways, the apple juice is already in here. We'll get that in there. Sterilized spoon will give it a stir. And if I knew how to cackle, I'd say we're making witches brew. Time for a break. Everything's been sterilized, so I have no problems with it if it's dribbling down the side of my, my glass or whatnot. All right. All right, so this one's a little higher than our target, but that's okay. Maybe it'll work out in our favor. It is 1.074. I have to think about that for a second. So we'll dump her back in. One ounce of hops, this may be a little much for, you know, a gallon and a half, but what the hey. I think Big CQ uh, uses a lot more hops than that when he, when he hops, or dry hops. And if you've never checked out his channel, I'll put a link in the more info. Uh, great guy from the UK, just kills me, keeps me in stitches. And I don't know if I should do this or not, but... I'm going to gently push all my hops into the wort or the apple juice uh, because I have a funny feeling they're not going to sink on their own. All right, now I'm going to take our yeast. And I'm just going to pull away some of the hops here so I can get the yeast down in there. All righty, there we go. And I'm just gently stirring the hops around. I don't, I don't want to break them up too much because they're you know, they're dry, but we're slowly getting there. And I'm sure if this is wrong, everyone will, will correct me in the comments, as you should, because we're all learning, right? Even when we do something different, somebody else I'm sure has already done it, and that's the best part of being part of this home brewing community. Everyone is there to, to pitch a hand and be positive. All right, you know what? I'm not going to play with that anymore. The tops of, uh, of the hops are just moist. Throw in our sterilized top. here and just like the last uh, bucket that I got from my wife's work the bunghole it's perfect it's a great seal if you press on the lid you can see it bouncing up and down so we're all set and uh, until next time be hoppy we're back everybody um, this is the the hopped orchard uh, I know some of my videos I've been really throwing the names around and this naming thing it's a lot of fun but once you really get into a recipe sometimes you just change your mind so let's crack it open let's see if this one carbonated not really 
but that's all right. Again, this is my last one, <laughs> so we'll give her a pour. So my nose is a little stuffed up. I'm just getting over a head cold, and uh, I'm gonna go through the motions. <laughs> but, but believe it or not, you can hear my nose that I'm stuffy, but I can still smell the apples. Um, it's nice and clear. There's a little, yeah, nice and clear. Um, there's a little carbonation in there, but I mean, not a whole lot. But uh, cheers, 17. Let's give this one a swig. Mmm. This, right off the bat, just makes my mouth water. It is so, so good. Um, I was so amazed. I actually did a taste test with the kids. Um, gave the glass. They handed it around. They each had a mouthful. And I told them, I said, I want you to all answer at once what apple this tastes like. Counted to three. And all four of them, Granny Smith. And that's exactly what this tastes like to me. Just like drinking a Granny Smith. Like There's no real hop aroma with it. But um, just the apples and any of the hop flavors I would have gotten from the hops um, have definitely blended well with um, the, the sourness that you usually get with the ciders. Um, when you ferment out all the sugars, but uh, definitely, definitely delicious. I'll be making more of this next fall. I may try this recipe next fall with actual cider um, and the hops that I've grown, so who knows. And on a final note, uh, keep experimenting, folks, because um, it's great recipes like this that uh, I love home brewing you know uh, work and reward if you will I'm sure that's not the saying but you can comment me down below anyways thanks for watching everybody thanks for subscribing and uh, till next time cheers be hoppy